Welcome back developers. Now let's see how we can utilize Expo Updates and use it in our applications. Expo Updates is a feature in EES which allows US developers to send updates or bug fixes to our users without them needing to downloading the whole application again. This is my editor open and this is our to-do application as you can see. Currently we can only add to-dos as we had in the previous videos. So let's say the dog and as you can see we can't check edit or delete uh, a to-do we will send these updates via expo updates and see how it works so to get started let's see a diagram to get a higher level overview on how it works so let's say this is our machine right so from a machine we send update to a branch a expo branch right and branches you can see as branches hold a list of commits same as github branches like github branches hold a list of commits uh, expo, expo branches are the same and internally in that branch we need to link to a channel a channel you can visualize as a tunnel which can communicate between your mobile application and the branch so basically you send update from your machine to a branch the branch is linked to a channel and a channel is linked to a uh, build right so inside the build we need to install the package called expo updates which will check for new updates and download and run the update in your devices we will see uh, soon how we can configure that but a uh, important thing to keep in mind is we can only change the javascript typescript code and images and assets while we send updates if we want to change some native code like app config app icon splash native code or anything inside the ios or android directory we need to build our application again and then publish it to our users we can't do that by using expo updates so to get started let's head over to our editor again and I'll just open a new terminal instance and then we need to install a library called expo updates so we'll do that by npm install expo updates let's wait while it's getting installed nice so it's get installed and if we check our package.json it's installed right so next we need to configure our applications to have channels so we can do that by running yes update configure now as you can see it has modified our es.json file now let's see what it has done over there now if i open this as you can see our development build is linked to a channel called development our preview build is linked to a channel called preview and a production build is linked not linked to any channel but we can later on link it but now let's do one thing now we will ena enable some features and then we will install the preview build on our physical device and then send updates to that that would be fine i guess so to do that firstly uh, let's create a new preview build for a physical device so we can do that by es build dash a is for the profile which is preview and dash b is for the platform which i want to do is android so let's hit enter and now it will take some time to do it so let's wait while it's getting installed it's uploading the javascript bundle to the cloud and shortly it will start installing in the meanwhile we can also go to the <coughs> dashboard and see over there so this is our app 
and currently as you can see our app is linked to a channel called preview and if you go over to the branches it automatically creates a branch called preview as well so later on we could we can see how we can link another branch the branch name could be anything and but the channel name is defined in the es.json file while we build that so later on we will see how we can link different branches to different channel and so on. so it will take some time to build the project so we can wait until then now build is completed now let's install it on a physical device which i have mirrored over here i will select a uh, the active device from expo orbit and just install it uh, open with orbit and it will download and install the build on my physical device it has installed it and if i just open it we have the same features like and do list anything get enter you know we can't do these we will now enable these features via expo updates so to do that what we will do is we will go to our to do input and bring the task item and first we will enable the feature to delete i guess that would be fine it's just in comment and check it yep so now we can delete that to do but in our preview build we can because it does not have the live server right so now what we'll do is now we will send update to a branch which has to be linked to a channel right so if i go to my es.json file again we need to send update to a branch which is linked to a preview channel and this build is and this build which i have installed on my physical device is of the channel preview so these all three things should be linked together for expo updates to work right so let's check our dashboard and if you go to channels by default our linked branches is preview so we need to send update to the preview branch right so to send an update what we need to do is we need to yes update now we need to set the branch as preview because our channel preview is linked to a preview branch if we see here now if i hit enter it will take some time to send the update we need to send a message to we can say enabled feature to delete or to do it will export the new javascript bundle and then install it over there so let's wait while it's um, doing its job now the it has sent the update to a preview branch and internally a preview branch was linked to the channel called preview and this build belongs to the preview channel right so we need to restart the application if i go over here this was our application let me move it to my home screen first and let's open this now let's see let's say hello let's open it again 
because it has a fallback time of zero by default so it will take some time uh, one or two runs to fetch and download the build we will configure later the fallback time now if i say hello and delete this now i guess as you can see it works right so successfully we have sent an update without me having to reinstall the application so how cool is that right now we can also delete it to do <coughs> right now let's see uh, how we can create a new branch and link that to existing channel right so let's create a new branch we can name the branch anything but if you are working on in a professional environment you should name it on what it does so let's say yes create branch oh this command is invalid yes branch it was yes branch create let's hit enter and let's name this branch as something else it's foo right foo or bar let's name it foo uh, our branch is created as foo if i go to my dashboard again we have a new branch called foo but it it's not linked to any channel over here right now if we send update to this branch nothing will happen because it's not linked to any channel and therefore not any build as well so what we need to do is link this branch to a channel <coughs> to do that we will need to run es channel edit and we will edit a preview channel we will hit enter and firstly our preview channels was linked to the preview branch now we will link that to the foo branch now it says users with builds on channel preview will now receive the active update on foo so what this means is now if, if i send updates to the foo branch users uh, running our build with the preview channel will receive the updates if i go over here and refresh this taking some time but uh, yeah if i can go over here the channel previews now linked to the branch foo which does not have any updates yet but we'll do it shortly as you can see let's let's uh, for a simple change let's try to change the background color over here let's go to a header uh, this is a development build running Change this to maybe just comment this out first, and then background color. Be let's change it to something simple as uh, red. we have changed the color to red right now this was a build with the preview channel and now let's see now we need to send an update to the foo branch because our foo branch is now linked to the preview channel and this build is from the preview channel as well right so let's run the command again yes update branch now the branch is called foo Let's hit enter and wait. We'll provide a message and something else. Uh, update from to branch. Let's wait uh, while it sends the update. So it said send the update to the branch foo and a foo, bar, foo branch was linked to the channel preview and this is a build from the preview channel right 
let's try to open the app once or twice because the fallback time is zero so it won't do anything in the first time it will internally download it and install the update on the next run if you open this again as you can see we have successfully updated the background color which is silly but it makes the point clear on how we can you know send updates and link branches to another ones another channels so let's recap the diagram once again so yes update you can only change the javascript type script code images and assets not the native code right and from a machine we need to send update to a es branch and branches hold a list of commits same as github branches and we need to link a branch to a channel and channel as you can see you can take an analogy of a tunnel which is a connector between your application and the branch right so internally in the application we need to have a library installed called expo updates which will check for new updates and download and run the update so thank you guys for watching this video in the next one we will we will see how we can utilize github actions to trigger updates which is mostly the case if you are working on a professional environment thank you